Hello, my name is Ty Ninky. Throughout the entirety of this video, I'll be wrapping through the book of 2 Timothy, which by the way is a book of the Bible. Now I must say this was a highly requested video, which is why I finally decided to go through and complete it nonetheless. So without further ado, I will begin with chapter one. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to Timothy, my dear son, grace, mercy, and peace, from God our Father, and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God whom I serve with my whole heart. It's night and day I constantly remember your tears. Recalling your tears, I long to be with you so I may feel joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith and personal living ground. Lois and your mother, Judas, and I am so now to you also. For this reason, I remind you, fan in the flame, the gift of God, was in you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. So do not be ashamed to testify about our God, or ashamed of me, his prisoner. But join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God, who saved us and called us to a holy life. Not because of anything we have done, but because of what he has done. Because of his purpose and grace. This grace has been given to us for the beginning of time, but has now been revealed to us through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel, I was appointed a herald, an apostle, and a teacher. That's why I'm suffering as I am. Yeah, I'm not ashamed, because I know for whom I have suffered, and convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day. What you've heard from me keeps the pattern of sound teaching faith and love in Jesus Christ. Guard the pretty cause that entrusted you. Guard with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in you. You know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me, including by jealous and Hermogenes. By jealous and Hermogenes, yes, by jealous and Hermogenes. May the Lord grant to show mercy to the household of Onesiphorus. He often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my trains. On the contrary, he came to me while I was in Rome. May the Lord grant that he will receive mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me while I was in Ephesus. Chapter 2. You then, my son, be strong in the graces of Christ Jesus. And things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses. And, and trust your reliable men who will be qualified to teach others also. And dare with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serves me as a soldier gets involved in civilian players. He wants to please the commanding officer. Similarly, if anyone competes as an athlete, he has not received the victor's crown unless he competes according to the rules. A hardworking farmer should be the first to receive his share of the crops. Reflect on what I'm saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all this. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel, for which I am suffering, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. But here, my friend... Is a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we don't disown us, he will disown us. But if we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Keep reminding him of these things. Warn them for God about calling against words is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Beware of Hymenius and Philetus. Who? Hymenius and Philetus. Their teaching will spread like gangrene. Excuse me. Reverse. Rewind, even the best of rappers fail every now and then. Two verses, starting in verse 14. Keep reminding them of these things. Warn them for God immense coiling that words of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter. Those who avoid it will become, those who indulge it will become more and more ungodly. Among their teaching will spread like gangrene. Among them are uh, Hymenius and Philetus. Um, among them are Hymenius and Philetus. Did I say that? Among them are Hymenius and Philetus. They say the resurrection has already taken place and they destroy the faith of some. Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm. See with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. In a large house, there are articles not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for noble purposes, some for ignoble. If a man cleanses himself from the latter, he would be an instrument for noble purposes, made holy, useful to the Lord, and prepared to do every good work. Flee the sexual desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the name of a pure heart. Have nothing to do with foolish or stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels, and the Lord's servant must not quarrel. Instead, he must be kind to everyone, able to teach others simple. Those who oppose him, must gently instruct and hope the Lord will grant them repentance, leading to a knowledge of the truth, and they may escape the chapter of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. Wolf! Chapter 3. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, unholy, ungrateful, unforgiving, without love, without self-control, boastful, proud, abusive, uh, treacherous, rash, not lovers of the good, conceited, 
having a form of godliness, but denying his power, have nothing to do with them. They're the kind of men who warm their way into homes and gain control of a weak-willed woman who are swayed down by all kinds of evil desires, always learning, but never able to know how to choose. Just as Johnson and John were supposed, Moses also men, these men opposed to choose men, praise minds who as far as faith and kids are rejected, but the faith not get very far, because as in the case of those men, their father will be clear to everyone. You, however, know all about my way of life, my teaching, faith, patience, love, persecution, endurance, suffering. What kind of things happened to me at Antioch and Conium and Lystra? The sufferings I endured. Yet the Lord rescued me from all, all, all. Yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted while even men and apostles are given bad words, deceiving and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you've learned and come to men because you know this from me, you learned it and have from a young age, you have been convinced that the Holy Scriptures will be able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scriptures God be useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, training and righteousness. So the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Mm. Final chapter. Chapter four. In the presence of God and of you of his in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and view us as an appearing as king, I give you this charge. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct and be encouraged with great patience and careful instruction. For time will come around, if men will not put up sound doctrine, who said to sit their own sides, I will gather around them a great number of teachers to hear with their itching ears. Their itching ears want to hear. They will turn away from truth, and they will turn aside to miss. Woo! We're almost done. I'm getting hot in here, man. I'm getting hot. I need a fan off. Woo! 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 Just so you know, we're at chapter 4, verse 6. I'm good to go. I can finish up now. But as for you, keep your head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all duties of your ministry. For I'm already being poured out like a drink offering. Any time has come for my departure. I fought the good fight, finished the race, kept the faith. Now this is for me. The crown of righteousness of the Lord. Christ's judge will award to me on that day. And the Lord, you need all to have longed for his appearing. Do your best to come to me before we know. Because Demas, who? Demas. Do your best to come to me quickly for Demas. Because uh, he is deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. Christmas has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is get with me. Get Mark and bring him with me. Get Mark and bring him with me, you, because he is helpful to me in ministry. When you come, bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas and my schools, especially the parchment. Uh, I sent Titch Kiss to Ephesus. Alexander, the middle worker, did, a great, did us a great deal of harm. He strongly opposed our ministry. The Lord will pay for him for what he has done. You too should be on your guard against him because he strongly opposed our ministry. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserved me. May I not be held against him, for the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength, so that through me the gospel might be fully proclaimed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And the Lord, excuse me, and I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. And I end, and I end, and I end, and I say amen. Therein you have the four chapters of the book of 2 Timothy wrapped out for you. Now, you're probably thinking, Oh, Ty, you're just some Bible genius and whatnot. You have nothing to do but just memorize the Bible. And I'm here to tell you that you can memorize the Bible too. Because I am just an average Joe. Just a normal kind of guy. So if I can memorize a book of the Bible, I guarantee you that you can memorize more than a book. You can memorize multiple books. You can memorize the New Testament. You can memorize the New and the Old Testament. You can memorize the whole Bible if you want. So I encourage you, go ahead, start, begin to do so, and you'll never regret it. Now, with this awesome, tremendous video, I do want to give a quick shout out to two of my helpers. Uh, one of them being Trell, who is my cooperating executive officer of Cooperate Managerial Staff Development Superintendent. Thank you to Trell. Ah, oh, that's the man. And then uh, my other thank you goes to uh, my boy Loeb. Loeb, come on in. Thanks, Loeb. Loeb's my assistant, which means he just kind of does whatever I tell him whenever I tell him to do it. So, Loeb, I bet right now you go ahead and shut off that video because we're done. On it. Thanks, Loeb. Appreciate all your help in your servanthood.